So in this video, we'll continue the Quinn McCluskey problem. So we were uh, right, we have written the first stage of the problem. Now we need to write list out all the prime implicants. So when we are listing all the prime implicants, we know since it is all these are ticked, only these four are unticked. So these four are prime implicants. So how to represent these prime implicants? So it is a variable A, B, C, and D. If I find any variable content as 0 in place of A, then going to write that as in complement. 1 in place of A, then writing the direct variable. Dash means I will not be considering that variable. That is what the meaning. So, for this first term, it is B bar D. B bar D. Then, the second term, it is B bar C. Second term is B bar C. Next, the third term is C D. Fourth term is A D. These are the four essential, sorry, prime implicants. B bar D, B bar C, C D, A D. These are the prime implicants. Now, in order to complete the solution for the problem given, now we need to draw the sorry go to the next stage of the problem using these prime implicants now we need to find out what are all essential prime implicants and also this problem can be an example for with don't cares whether the problem is with don't cares or without don't cares there is no change in the first half of the problem list out everything the main terms and the don't cares everything in terms of binary and then group it, do comparison and find out all the prime implicants. While doing the second step, we need to focus on what are all don't cares because we will not give a priority for don't cares. We will focus only on the main terms. These are prime implicants. So, list out all the prime implicants, whatever we have written. So, B bar D, the main terms are 1, 3, 9, 11. B bar C, 2, 3, 10, 11, C, D, 3, 7, 11, 15, A, D, 9, 11, 13, 15. These are the prime implicants. So, write down all the main terms given in this problem. So, 2, 3, 7, 9, 11 and 13. So, we will not be considering this don't care over here. That's it. Now, uh, this particular term covers these many main terms. So, put an cross mark into this location. So, 1 is a don't care. So, I will not be writing that. So, 2. Sorry, 2 is not there. So, 3, 9 and 11. Then next. So, what are all the terms here is? So, 2, 3, 10 is not there, 11. Next, 3, 7, 11, 13, sorry, it's not 13, 15 it is, it's not there. So, 9, 11, 13, 15 is not there here, it's because that is a don't care. So, we'll be considering all the terms, whatever has been covered. Now, what's the next thing is, so, once we do this entries into this second table or second tabular method, so write this entry 1, 3, 9, 7, okay, this term covers 3, 9 and 7. This term covers 2, 3, 10 and 11. So, I will be writing 2, 3 and 11. So, this term it covers 3, 7, 11, 15. 3, 7, 11. 15 I have not written because it is a don't care. Next, 9, 11, 13, 15. So, 9, 11, 13, 15 I have not written. Now I need to find out the essential prime implicants. Scan through the columns. If you find a single cross mark, then choose that particular one because that is essential. When I scan through this, I found a single cross mark in this column. This is essential now. So what I do, I will circle this by assuming this is very essential and I will put a tick mark for this. So, this is my essential prime implicants B bar C. So, this term is covering few main terms. What are all those main terms it covers? Put a tick on that. So, it covers 2, 
it covers three it covers 11 so it covers these three main terms now third second column if i scan through there are three terms so i will not go for this then if i scan through the seven there is only one cross mark and this is not ticked yet so then this is essential so if this is essential i'll be using this so cd is an essential prime implicants it covers this seven what else it covers three which has already been covered 11 it covers it's already been given 15 it covers it's not there so no issues next if i scan through this there are two dots so i'll not go for this if i scan through this there are multiple no i don't go for this if i scan through this it's a single one then it is essential so i'll circle this and i'll take this so this is essential ad what all it covers nine yes it covers nine then 11 it's already been ticked 13 okay it covers these three so now if you go with check this all the main terms has been covered and we found these three are essential so we have listed these three now in order to write the final solution so club this final solution with these essential prime implicants and do some like do our operation on these terms this will be the final answer so just for the learning purpose i've just randomly written some content over here so i hope the first half of the problem is very clear so we'll just go through this problem so if the contents are something like this if these are my prime implicants and these are the main terms it might be used with the don't cares also i've not written that here okay if these are the terms okay these terms covers these this term cover these that's what i've written here now how i need to solve scan through the column if it is a single cross mark then that is essential so when i scan through this this is single cross mark then this is essential so i'll use this as an essential and i'll circle this so what are all the terms this covering is one three 10. so these three are covered now i scan through this three was not required because already it's covered i scan through this five here yeah, there are two cross marks so i'll not go for it so 10 has already been covered 12 two cross marks so i'll not go for it so 14 if i go with there are there is only one cross mark so i'll go with this and uh, this is essential then i'll make use of this term so it covers 14 and 10 which has already been covered no issues so when i scan through this 15 it covers this so this will also become an essential so it covers 15 and 5 so in this problem 1 3 5 10 is covered 14 and 15 is covered but 12 is not covered so if i want to cover this 12 if i scan through this column there are two cross marks so when if anything left out no only this is left out so when i look into these two cross marks see what is the term for this cross mark it is a d bar for the second cross mark it is a b bar d so when i compare these two which is better this is better because only two variable here it is three variable so i'll go with this by using this as an um, necessary one it's not an essential now club along with this essential a b bar plus c bar d bar plus this a b c bar plus a d bar this i'll not be calling it as essential i can also use this but if i go with this this will be the best option so i'll be using this so in this way we can solve this suppose i'll just do some more modification for this problem and see what will happen if that is the case so I've just done modification the cross mark was here i've just erased and put over here so now if i want to solve this problem how it will be so if i scan through this 15 this is the only cross marks but already this, this has been covered with this so i can't go with this so 14 15 is covered but i forget to erase this so 5 is not covered now and 12 is not covered now so for 5 we have two options so a b bar 
so this is also not an essential time being because it's 15 so i put a tick mark here as this so 5 is can be covered with a b bar or a b bar d 12 can be covered with a d bar a b bar d so in the previous problem what i said go with this since it is two variable compared to this this is the best solution at that time 5 was already been covered now since 5 and 12 both to be covered so out of these so if i use particular one it can able to get the better solution then that is this so if i use this term it covers both 5 and 10 12 then i go with this term along with this essential prime implicant c bar d a b c bar so i'll go with this a b bar d then that will be the best solution for the problem so with this, I'll wind up the Quinn-McCluskey method. Thank you.